I view the past decade, the past 15 years for equities, as a pretty um, challenging one. I know clients look at the S&P 500 and think it all has to be over. But the reality is that the two major bear markets, 2000, 2008, uh, those types of bear markets I don't think we'll see again uh, for at least a decade, right? 2000 was extraordinary overvaluation, which we don't face today. 2008 was about a systemic structural over leverage that simply we don't have in the economy anymore. Um, so we'll, we'll go through bear markets, uh, 20 to 30% bear markets, but not the kind of truly devastating uh, hiccups in the life of equities that we all went through um, in the past, recent past. So in that sense, I think the outlook is, is better. Um, if there's one undervalued idea today, it's the idea that the global economy can grow in a sustained, prosperous fashion. Um, it's been so long since the world economy was working on all cylinders that there's still a deep distrust in the viability of the major economies. Um, I think there's a chance we get at least five years plus of healthy economic growth. I mean, there'll be some mild recessions. And I don't see another asset class that can compete um, with equities, if that proves to be the case. Um, I often say that last summer, the summer of 2016, might be the March of 2000 for bonds. I know that's a bit dramatic. Um, March of 2000 was the major peak in the NASDAQ. Uh, when no fundamental setting over the subsequent decade could justify those valuations. Um, if we can grow in a sustained, prosperous fashion, and by we I mean the global economy, um, then I don't think there's any competition for equities from the fixed income side of the equation. So in that sense, I think uh, investors have got to get equities right in the next decade in a way that they really haven't in the past.